Spanish history, the monarchy has played a significant and at times crucial role in the stability of Great Britain. Whether you believe in the monarchy or not, these islands would not be the same if they had not existed. Often the rule has been by exercise of power, dominated by the wishes of one person. When Jesus sent his disciples out to preach and heal, he told them to say, the kingdom of God has come near. As Christians, we are called to live as citizens of that kingdom, even if we cannot define it. What difference does that make to our lives in this world? When you become a Christian, it's as if you enter a whole new life. You become part of the kingdom of God, living under God's rule, with his values and his ways of doing things. Living as a citizen of the kingdom is about living as Jesus would want us to live. It is about doing the right things, but it's also about a transformation of the inner person, the heart. A really good description of what citizens of the kingdom will be like is found in the Beatitudes. And if we live in the way that they describe, we may find ourselves living differently to some of the other values that we see around us. We'll find ourselves being humbly dependent on God, being concerned with justice and peace, examining our motives, putting God at the heart of all we do. We have to make a choice to live like that, and it's quite a tough choice. But the good news is we're not left to do it alone. Being a citizen of the kingdom also means that all the rich resources of God's Holy Spirit are ours. The Spirit helps us to live the life of the kingdom, bringing us joy and hope and peace and healing. We just have to pray that radical prayer, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. I think being a Christian, I think it is a, uh, you know, there is a challenge there. How does it help? It helps because I think it enables one to anchor back. It goes back to your comment about foundations. The, the principles, the values, the beliefs that we all hold central in our lives and our hearts mean that you can make sense of the stupid world that we live in. Um, so I think it provides a sanity, a reality and an anchor point um, and perhaps the odd moment of frustration. Mm -hmm.